people have been practicing diving since ancient times. They jumped off rocks, shores, ships. The best divers were fishermen, sailors and pearl hunters. Jumping into the water, or as it was called back then, fancy diving, became popular as a hobby in Switzerland in the 16th century. The first school specializing in jumping from towers appeared in the late 19th century. The German school of diving developed in parallel. Its athletes performed jumps from a springboard. In 1904, diving was included in the Olympic Games program. Ukrainian athletes twice became bronze medalists at the Olympics in synchronized diving from the three-meter springboard. The duet of Anna Sorokina and Olena Zhupina in the year 2000 in Sydney, Ilya Kvasha and Oleksiy Perahov in Beijing in 2008. Ukrainians are yet to win Olympic medals in springboard jumping. The heroine of our program, Sofia Liskun, dreams of correcting this unpleasant statistic. The 16-year-old athlete from Luhansk has already become European champion in team competitions and a bronze medalist in synchronized diving from a 10-meter springboard. Zodiac sign, Aquarius, animal, cat, eyes, blue, favorite color, violet, favorite season, summer. Sofia Liskun was born in Luhansk. Her dad owned a car repair shop. One of his regular customers was diving coach Tamara Tokmachova. She immediately noticed the makings of an athlete in the young, brisk daughter of the car shop owner. We asked her parents and they brought her. She was only five and a half years old. Of course, she was a small child. She saw the hole, tears appeared in her eyes. She did not want to. When my parents brought me to the hall for the first time, I sat near the door and cried. I said, take me away from here, please. But then she quickly got a taste. She liked to dive, because she loves climbing trees, so she was not afraid of heights. Well, there was no special problem. Sofia took her first dive from a 10-meter springboard at the age of 8 and of course remembered it for the rest of her life. There was a New Year holiday on the water in the Luhansk Basin Unist. She just needed to jump like a soldier. And the first time I flew, I thought, Lord, how long is there to fly? Why is it so high? At first, it is scary when you come to the edge. You are already preparing for a difficult jump. And then when you start to do this jump, you probably don't think about anything. You only think about the jump and that's all. Each diver is a little gymnast, a little acrobat and swimmer. Before performing jumps in the swimming pool, athletes work them out in the dry training hall. Sofia Luskun, together with Valeria Lulko, jump into a hole containing foam rubber. In 2017, the Liskun Lulko duet won the European Championship in synchronized diving from a 10 meter springboard. Competitions were held in Kiev in this pool of water sports. Sofia was one of its youngest participants, but she was still able to win a medal. I believe that the most important achievement of hers was at the European Championship, which was held in Ukraine. They won a bronze medal. This is an achievement. She was fifth in the individual event, which is real success. Liz Kuhn won her first medal when she was eight years old. The first successful jumps gave the girl great pleasure, as well as top places in competition. I was eight years old then, maybe seven. My coach told me, if you don't win a medal, you won't train with me. I won the bronze. I was in such a strange state. I still probably did not fully understand that I had won the bronze. But I liked to compete, and I liked every minute of that which happens in competitions. Favorite movie? Between Heaven and Earth. Favorite actor? No. Favorite music? Classic. In 2014, when the war began in Donbass, Sofia Liskun, like most of her fellow athletes from Luhansk, moved to Kiev. Her parents stayed in the occupied territory, and the responsibility for the 12-year-old teenager till her coming of age fell fully on the shoulders of coaches. They are like my second parents. Tamara Volodymyrovna is like my mother, and Ilya Yevhenovich, this is my coach, he is like my father. Control, of course, is the main thing, first and foremost. And when I come home, I have to phone and say, 
Ilya Ivanovich, hello, I'm fine, I'm already at home. Our discipline is serious, so at 9 o'clock she's always at home. And in the winter earlier, at 8. We don't allow her to eat sweets, only until 3 in the afternoon. In the evening too, especially with outside dishes. Choose either meat or a side dish. Mainly a salad. She hates me, says she hates me. I said, well, maybe later you will realize that it was not in vain. At the age of 14, Sofia Liskun won a bronze medal in individual springboard jumping at her first junior European Championship in Croatia. Even then, her mentors clearly understood a new star is growing up in the Ukrainian team. In addition to hard work, without which it is impossible to achieve top results, one of the main aces held by Sofia, the coaches consider the ability to gather and tune into the jump to completely abstract herself from the outside world. Boldness, courage and, of course, the most necessary quality is the ability to concentrate. It is already seen in her sport. It will go into life the same way, where it is necessary to concentrate, mobilize and gather in order to perform a good jump, to perform the entire program well. Despite the fact that she's only 16, she has it. When she goes for a dive, one can see that she's not that much excited, she's worried, but compared to the others, she comes out with confident eyes, and it is clear that she's focused on the jump, does not see anyone around her, neither the judges nor the audience, but only the coach, the jump, and what needs to be done to get good marks. In 2018, Sofia Liskun became European champion. She and Oleg Kolodi won team competitions. In the same year at the World Cup stage in China, she came second in the team and took sixth place in the individual springboard diving. This is a big achievement for a young girl. It gave the young athlete the right to take part in the stages of the World Series next season. In an interview, Sofia admitted that there was another reason to show good results in China. She and the coach often makes bets before competition. Then the stake for getting into the top eight was a swimsuit, and more than one. He said, if you take the first eight or get into the final, something like that, I will give you a swimsuit. If you get a certain amount of points, I will give you two swimsuits. And I say, Ilya Yevgenievich, and if I get in the first eight, will you give me three swimsuits? But he did not expect, and I didn't even expect it myself, that I would get into the top six. And it turned out that he gave me three swimsuits. Yes, I constantly play with her. At first we played jumps. I motivated her there with something to make a new jump. I could free her from evening workout. If you make this jump today, you jump. Sometimes financially, sometimes I buy some attributes, gifts. Dream in sports, adult Olympics, medal, dream in life, create my own family. Love, impossible to describe in words, happiness, everything that happens to me. For Sofia Liskun as well as for the entire Ukrainian team, 2019 will be the year for making preparations for the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. The plans include participation in five stages of the World Series, the licensing for the World Championship in Korea and the European Championship in Kiev. Now our plans for Sofia are her participation in the World Cup. She is faced with the task of getting into the 12, although it will be hard. She is only 16 years old, and there are quite famous sportswomen there. We already have the maximum program that is competitively capable all over the world. China, Malaysia, Korea. We have exactly the same. This ratio is 15 and 9. The most difficult jump that Sofia performs is three and a half forward somersaults under herself. Soon, a jump three and a half back somersaults will be added to the program to increase the difficulty coefficient. We did this dive a year ago, but since she was injured, she had such a difficult period. She had extra weight, so we took away this dive. After this season, we will restore it again, and I think we will jump around it for a year, so that we can perform well at the Olympics. Favorite dish? Fried eggs. I can cook. Fried eggs. Favorite drink? Some tasty juice.
Sofia Lusconi studied in via correspondence course at the Luhan School of Physical Education. Her favorite subject is biology. In the future, she wants to be a coach and raise her champion. I just like working with little children. Well, it's actually very interesting to see. If I imagine myself in the role of a trainer, then I think that it would actually be very cool and awesome to raise an athlete from childhood. She's a very kind girl. She loves children. Her roommate girls, they are very small children. She's friends with them, helps, gives them advice. Sometimes she gives them some of her hairpins, t-shirts. Divers, like other athletes, are mostly superstitious people. Someone straightens the lace of a swimsuit or the hem of a pair of swimming shorts before a jump, someone leaves slippers in a certain place or throws a towel tied in a special knot. Our heroine also has a ritual she does without fail before diving. If I do not correct my eyebrows there, the jump will not succeed. Well, I water my face and eyebrows. If I do not do this, then everything will be bad. Or, for example, I do not crack my knuckles before jumping, standing on my feet. I once cracked in competitions. The jump was bad. No, I don't do that. And, of course, she should definitely wear a lucky swimsuit for an important event. Sofia has three of them. One is black, I jumped in it today, another black one, I dived at the Olympics, and at the World Cup, I jumped a white one with purple pandas. Sofia has many stories with swimsuits. One of them happened at her first European Championship in Croatia in 2016. She finished the performances on the one-meter springboard and in half an hour had to perform with Vlada Docenko in the synchronized diving event on the three-meter springboard. And it turned out that the swimsuit for these performances was at the hotel, and one of the rules is to perform in the same swimsuits. If one wears a black one, then the second wears black too. Performing in different swimsuits is not allowed. Already at the warm-up, 20 minutes before the jump, she recalls that she forgot her swimsuit at home. They had to warm up in different bathing suits. Send someone to the hotel. He comes, thank God, we had enough time. There is forming up already, the presentation of teams, they came out in their swimsuits. And then she ran into the locker room, quickly brought a swimsuit. She dressed, it was probably the most nervous European championship. Sofia Luskun is a universal diver, as she dives on springboards as well as trampolines. But her favorite discipline is individual diving from a 10-meter springboard. Her idols are Ukrainian sportswomen and colleagues in the national team. This is our Ukrainian diver, Yulia Prokopchuk. I admire her jumps. This is on the springboard, and Anya Pismenska is on the trampoline. These are two athletes who I simply follow. Behind the attractive appearance of a merry girl lies an iron character, sport and anger, excitement, a goal-oriented approach, and a lust for victories. All the components of a real champion. For one workout, she jumps about 50 times from a 10-meter springboard. An ordinary person, just looking down from this height, already feels dizzy and trembling at the knees. She usually has two workouts per day, one on Saturday and Sunday is her day off. That is the price of winning for the Ukrainian diver Sofia Liskun.